Okay, it's really windy this morning. It's warm, but it is very windy. The plan is to give Bean a bath today. We kind of have to gauge if it's gonna rain, it's gonna be super cloudy. I need it to be pretty warm. I'm just gonna wash the back of his legs, but I do not want him to get sick. Uh, the wind blew open your gate this morning, so you guys were all out eating. Heard mom coming though. I'm like breakfast. Daisy. What are you doing? Pepper! I need to have a bunny. What do you girls think? You guys have had all the visitors and the fun the last couple of days. Yes, Pixie. So, let's have breakfast. open the Dutch door today because it's so windy. It'll just bang around. What do you think, Duke Duke? We're also gonna go pick up a bunch of pumpkins today for the pigs and the goats. They've already had a bunch. So they've had about, I think my sister-in-law brought me like four yesterday, four or five, I don't remember. Another friend of mine brought me like six the day before, but we are gonna go pick up at like four different people's houses today. And so we're gonna have a little funny farm Thanksgiving. The girls ate three, the pigs ate three the first day, and I gave the other ones to these guys yesterday because I knew we were gonna have so many coming. Well, good morning. water bowl it will have like a thin layer of ice on it in the morning and he's really good at lifting it up and like banging it to break the ice up which is really nice because they always have water pigs are very smart so unless the ice is like super thick he can usually manage to bust it up himself the problem is he lifts it up and he splashes it and a lot of times he ends up turning the entire bucket over so I filled that up last night and now it's like half full and that's all because he's been out here banging on it which I don't really understand why it was not freezing Overnight, and it could just been there scratching on it. Silly piggle. just to get the back of his legs in his face. So I think we can do that today. Just a little bucket of warm water and some dish soap. Just scrub him up really good. That spot on the back of his leg has started to scab, which was what I was hopeful that it would do because none of the girls are in heat and haven't been, so they are starting to settle down. All right, mom's coming to get you. So we're gonna have Funny Farm Thanksgiving Day Feast for everybody today, which I think will be fun. It is Wednesday, tomorrow is Thanksgiving. I'm hopeful that I'm gonna get this video out this week. Always what happens to me on breaks is I think that I'm going to relax and have time to do like things I wanna do, but the truth is there's always like a list of things that it would be really great to get taken care of when I'm not working. And so inevitably I spend spent the first day running errands and then had a friend come by and bring the pumpkins and then yesterday, come on girlies, let's go. Kind of similar, had to go to the revenue office here in the state of Arkansas, like our revenue offices are like all together. So you go like to get car tags. So we had the two new vehicles, had to get tags for, took my parents to get their tags moved to Arkansas. That of course takes forever, get the driver's license changed because you can do that all in the same place. Come on guys. And then my sister-in-law came over and then I ran some more errands. So I always think I'm getting a lot done. I get a lot done, but I don't like have a lot of downtime. Like I always think I'm gonna have on these like shorter breaks. You can see I gave them pumpkins. 
They had three pumpkins and they're still working on them, which is great. They kind of have to soften up for them to eat these outside parts, but they will eat them. But they're not as aggressive with the pumpkins. Okay, are you guys ready? I'm sorry. Stopping and talking and you guys are ready to go out. Come on. They, or the pumpkins that the pigs have had have been like destroyed pretty immediately. The goats kind of slow roll it. Come on, pretties. Let's go. Let's go, my pretty girls. They're like, we've already been out, mom. It's the thing, the premier one that has not shown up yet. It did ship Monday, so I'm hopeful that it will be here probably today, uh, which would be really nice because it means that maybe Saturday or Sunday, Jeremy and I can get it up and get them out. Come on, girls. Come on. They're like, yeah. I mean, it's like nine o'clock, guys. It's like not late at all, considering. Wash some clothes and things this morning before I came outside. But listen to the wind blow in the house. Hey, come in, Nons. No, not super interested. But we're gonna go get pumpkins. We're gonna have Thanksgiving feast and celebration today and just have fun. Maybe, maybe not. It just kind of depends on how the rest of the day goes. I have to go pick up a vehicle for my parents so that I can go pick up all these pumpkins. I don't want to put a straw bale in my car because it's like impossible to get the straw out. So I'm gonna go borrow something to go pick up pumpkins in. We have an unreasonable amount of pumpkins for our Thanksgiving Day feast. So this is some of them. And then I have some more that are back here in the garage that I don't think I'm gonna give them today because they've already had, so like here's another stack for maybe tomorrow. Those are all in pretty good shape. They've already had like about 12 pumpkins at the last few days. The pigs will overeat. The goats are still slow rolling them, so I don't want them to be wasted. But I also got this straw bale, which is really exciting. We're gonna put that in the pig house today. I don't have any reason to just like hang on to it. Are you ready for the Thanksgiving Day feast? Uh, Grandma's gonna have a ham bone for you. She will, just, just not today, okay? We'll have doggy Thanksgiving Day feast uh, on Friday. I get this mat out from his ear. Oh, it is crazy windy, so the bean bath is not gonna happen today. Which I'm a little bit disappointed, but his leg is looking better. It is just too, uh, pumpkin down. It's too windy for me and for him. I've had to like come out and pick up a bunch of stuff that's been blown around because it's been so crazy. Oh, he had some butt sniffing going on. Yeah, are you guys ready for some more pumpkins? Say happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to the big o wiggles. Let's try to bust this one open. the pumpkins up a little bit more. They will break them up themselves. Like I had two yesterday that didn't crack open when um, my sister-in-law and my niece and I all threw them over. They were gone this morning. So, and just to eat them. We're gonna have you, your party next. Yeah, we're gonna have your party next. Guys, Nani's not in heat. She, you do this to her every time she's walked up for a week. I'd be concerned if it wasn't like legit the same reaction every day to the same goat. Is that good pumpkin? There we go, Tim. Come on, bud. Busy 
for maybe an hour. Um, I do kind of like to do that because it does provide them a little bit of enrichment to kind of figure out how to get the pumpkin open. here but it is windy windy our house has been popping and creaking all day long so these were pumpkins for four different people at my work and then a couple more people who are gonna bring me um, pumpkins at work I live pretty close to one of my buildings and there were several people that kind of live in the neighborhoods next to the building I don't but they do so I was willing to kind of drive the 15 minutes and they all kind of live in the same area. So it took me about 20 minutes to go to the four different places and pick up pumpkins. Guys, there's enough for everybody to have a snack. There is. So we need to spread them out a little bit.
This has been a pretty successful Thanksgiving feast for the goats. <clears throat> so thankful for people in our world that uh, will donate pumpkins um, and food like this to the goats and to the pigs because it's just fun treat for them. It's also a great way to recycle pumpkins and not waste them. People use them for decoration, not for eating. And this way, none of the food goes to waste. The animals are able to eat something that the people wouldn't eat. Happy Thanksgiving, goats! Daisy, uh, you have pumpkin all over your face. Both of you. You do. Okay. So, no dinner tonight with all of the extra snackies that everybody's had. I don't want to overdo it, and they don't need anything else. I mean, those pumpkins are more than enough for them for an extra little bit of nutrition today. Uh, we'll feed them in the morning, but they really don't need anything else. Looks like he got into that corn. All right, Piggle Wiggles, mom put a whole bunch of straw in your pen. You can go snuggle, okay? Love you, buddies. Good night. Hello, Dottie Kitten. Missed uh, morning treats. Has been chasing me around all afternoon. We'll get her some treats before we go to bed. Still lots of pumpkin left. So you can see there's still a lot of meat left on these pumpkins for these guys. So if they really are hungry, uh, like they're all claiming to be, there is a lot of meat out here to eat on these pumpkins, but they did a pretty good job. They even tore into the back of this one, which is impressive. They, they couldn't eat the corn, they ate the stalks though, which is funny. Lots of pumpkin left to eat. Night, night, pretties. Night, night. <laughs>